Um, I don't know. We, we, we throw the ball pretty good in practice. So um, the last two games were, I think, somewhat unusual games um, in the way that we wanted to attack the teams last week was what it was with the weather. Um, I mean, I think, I think we'll show improvement in the passing game. I'm not overly concerned about it. I understand when you look at the stats, it's somewhat one-sided, and you, you guys got to ask those kind of questions. But for us, it's more about finding ways to win one game at a time and doing what we need to do. So um, we're less concerned with balancing out our yearly stats at this point. Um, so I don't know if that answers your question. We, 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 we'll, we're prepared to throw the ball. We practice throwing the ball, and we'll, you know, we, I think we'll show improvement as we finish out the year. Do you have any update on Deonta Foreman? And do you expect him to play this weekend? Uh, I mean, we expect him to play. Yeah, he, he, he's uh, he's improving, and you know, we still got several days before the game, so we, we're, we're confident that he'll play. You know what? The OC at Iowa State's having to go through right now, and he's kind of putting together a game plan, I guess, on the fly. What are the challenges? I have no idea what their challenges are, but, <laughs> to be honest with you. But, but the challenges of being thrown in midseason like, like you were as well. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I just know of our situation. I mean, <laughs> I used to work for a guy named Jim Mora. If you had asked him that question, he probably – it would have, it would have been not the kind of response you would have liked. I have no idea what's going on at somebody else's program, so I have no idea. I can't answer that. Um, I know what we do here, and um, you know I don't know. I, I I felt like I I prepare myself every day for all the responsibility that can be given to me. So for me, I was prepared. So I don't know what's going on up there. Jay, you guys started using Tyrone in the run package against Oklahoma State. How long have you been practicing? We never practiced it. Really? I don't say we never practiced it. We but practiced similar concepts, and it carried over. But the stuff we did at the end of the game, we put it in Saturday morning because of the weather. And, and, um, and it was just an offshoot of what we do. So it wasn't like we'd never done it before. Um, but that's the, that's the carryover when you have concepts that the kids are confident about it. You can add to it. And, and they did a great job at the end of the game. And of course, they didn't had never seen us do those things out of that set, so that was they weren't really prepared for it either. But that's something that we we I mean that's certainly been a strength for us, something that we could hang our hat on, and and we've wanted that, and and that can carry over to different situations, not just short yardage, but four minute, red zone running. That, that could be carry over to a lot of areas in the in the game, and. And uh, you know when you're going down the stretch, you got to have those kind of things that you can hang your hat on, and and I, I, we certainly can do that and and grow with it here as we finish the season. And you know the biggest thing for us is confidence. Um, that's something we have a lot of confidence in, and so um, and that's something that we've 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 kind of established, and and uh, so that's part of our personality right now. And, and we'll continue to use it in every way we can and, and um, you know, as we move forward. But doesn't that speak to where y'all are at right now as a team that the guys feel comfortable and you as coaches feel comfortable and, hey, Saturday morning, let's put this in? And well, we felt confident because we knew the kids had confidence in those concepts. So, um, and, and, and that's all we're – we're doing more more important than scheme, more important than the types of plays, more important than what it looks like. We are trying to instill confidence in our players that we can be effective when we're called upon. You know, um, we haven't passed the ball as well, but we're the last two weeks on third down, we're way more effective than we were the first part of the season. So, so at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. It's helping us win games. And we have to we have to continue to find ways to be creative, to do our job on offense. And you know, obviously, we're playing off our defense. Our defense is playing well, and it helps if we run the ball and our defense are playing well. That combination is a good. Con I don't care what level of football you're at. So so we're 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 trying to make the right decisions and be smart for the football team. And um, 
and use utilize the talent that we have the best way we know how and and so that's where our our decisions fall coach you uh, you've had this offense for six games now where do you feel like they've been able to make some strides and, and where do you feel like there can, there's room for improvement i think we've 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 done a really good job of of competing the last couple of weeks and games and in that we've run the ball better in that we've been better on third down in that we've protected the football those areas are helping us win games right now um, being able to stay on the field uh, on third down is is really key and uh, extending drives um, protecting the football I think we're the best in the conference as far as that's concerned so I, I don't want to overstate that but 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 that's a positive you know every year you start the year off wanting to limit the amount of turnovers that you have so we've got to continue to do that it'll be a huge challenge these next few weeks but I think our kids feel like they can be in a highly competitive environment in this conference play anybody and win if we compete and we execute um, We've got to do a good job of, of attacking the field better. I think we did a better job early in the year than we've done the last couple of weeks. And, and by that, I mean spreading the ball around and getting our, our perimeter guys involved. I think we need to do a better job of that. Um, and we'll continue to work towards that. Um, I thought we were prepared to do that Saturday. And then you know, we got the rainstorm that kind of changed it. So we'll see. We'll have another opportunity this week. No, I mean it was one of the ways, and and it was one of the ways that we've used the last few weeks. Um, so I mean I I think that's something that can be a weapon for us because of his ability to run. And you know as long as he's our quarterback, I think we're going to be doing some of that with him. We'd be foolish not to. So. Um, I just think it's one of the ways that he can be effective. Jay, when you started out figuring out how to maximize the personnel on offense, did you did you think that this offense would be a, a multiple tight end offense with a lot of H backs that hit people in the mouth, or is that just kind of the way things evolved? No, I, I just think um, I think we learned about our players as we've gotten them. You know, Caleb Blewett was on defense at the beginning of the season, um, so so we weren't expecting him to have a big role offensively for sure. You know, uh, uh, Alex De La Torre is really a fullback, and and we're using him in in a lot of ways that he can be effective. He was fabulous on Saturday. I mean, the things that he does in in in, in the, the swoops package is really it, it takes a great feel to to sift your way through and find those hats to put bodies on. Um, so that's something that he's becoming very talented at, and that's a huge, huge role he has for our team. You know, Beck is a very, very has a great feel for those blocks too. So those three kids are making a tremendous contribution. You know, and and um, you know that package is something that that has been extremely effective for us in the last two wins. So. Um, yeah, so that's something we're just kind of growing with. You know, we're continue to do that. You know, every we've got a lot of kids on this team that that have special talents, and and uh, we'll do our best to try to utilize them as we go. You know, a lot of our backs have different talents, and so you know we'd like to use Chris Warren more. I mean, he's a really good young back, um, and there's some more guys that we'll try to find ways to get involved. But I think the more we can get involved, I think the more effective we'll be as a unit. Because we don't. Think much of, of Connor Williams during during the game, which is probably a good thing. Yes, obviously. So, just for a freshman, what he's doing on that left side, which is clear, is so important. Can you just talk about what he's doing, his maturity, his development, all that? He's a very unique talent. Uh, super, super intelligent. He, he's got two rare qualities for a young kid. He's extremely intelligent, and he's extremely competitive, and he's physically talented. Uh, which for a freshman is highly unusual. For him to be able to play left tackle and for us not even to really worry about him is, is really rare. And so, um, and really to say, to, you know, Patrick Vahe is really very similar to him. Very physically mature, 
very uh, emotionally mature and highly competitive, both of those guys. So we're very fortunate to have two freshman linemen that are, they're as unique as I've been around in 30 years of coaching to, to walk in and, and play as well as they have as freshmen. You know, I, 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 I tease people all the time, people that come in and turn our film on, you know, the pro scouts even, you can't tell us who our freshmen are. If you don't know, you can't look at the five guys up front and say, oh, these two are your freshmen because they don't look as mature, or they don't look as physical, or they're not as talented. That's not the case. And so um, Connor's a special player. Uh, he's going to be he's going to be very fun to watch. You know, I, I say you know, I've said this before, but but the, the freshmen that we have starting offensively, John Burt, Patrick Vahe, and Connor Williams are all highly, highly unique and very talented and have really big futures. Two last ones, Jay, when, when Gerard became the starter, you said that Tyrone was going to help this team win games. Has, has it been? Um, can you see that he's been really excited by the role, the opportunity that he's been getting? You know, I, I, I was at Oklahoma and we had Blake Bell and, 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 and Blake Bell was just a unique athlete. You know, he's six foot six, 250 pounds. He's a, he can run, he can do a lot of things. Well, Tyrone has got more speed than Blake Bell ever had. And, and that's not a knock on Blake, but Tyrone's just a unique athlete. He's a big, physical, competitive guy. And um, the things that we're doing with him are really natural for him. So, um, He's had some tremendous runs, uh, second effort runs, running through arm tackles, um, and he can throw the ball. So, you know, he's he's got some unique skills, and and um, um, that's a very difficult package um, for people to defend because, uh, especially when we go into multiple personnel groups, because they don't really know who to put in the game to stop it. So. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of Tyrone. He's, he's always had a great attitude. Even when uh, Gerard took over, he stayed ready. And, 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 and I'm glad that we're getting him integrated in the game because he may have to be the full-time starter, and he's already playing. He's into the game. He's, 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 he's got his focus uh, locked in. So I just think that's a good thing for us as a team. Jay, where is uh, DeAndre McNeil right now? We've seen him on special teams. Where is he? He's a, he's, a, he's a young guy trying to make an impact on the team. Uh, um, he's been playing on special teams. He's, he's played a little bit uh, coming off the bench and spelling uh, Burt. Um, but he's, he's improving. He's feeling more comfortable all the time. Um, you know, all those young guys were really pushing him to improve this last uh, half of the season and show a lot of improvement down the stretch. So it's going to be big for him how he finishes up. Last one. Going back to Caleb Blewett. How impressed have you been with his uh, transition to offense? Seems like he's making a big catch every game. Yeah, he's he's really come on and and really uh, starting to show us uh, what kind of receiver he can be. And that's something that we've been wanting to do is get our tight ends involved in the passing game more. And and uh, the better we run the football, the more opportunities they're going to have to catch the ball because the things that play off a running game they become real big targets in. So um, they're really building those opportunities by, by really blocking well. And so, uh, and that's one thing I'm really proud of. I mean, we're, we're, we're kind of doing some old fashioned stuff as far as running the football. And um, it's good. The play action's good off of it. And, um, you know, we'll just continue to build on that and, and learn, learn more about where we can take advantage of it. Thanks, Dave.